What's up guys, today we're gonna paint some chairs. A few months ago, I made a video, this one right here, testing spray paints on folding chairs. I tested out a few different spray paints and I came to the conclusion that trim clad hammered was the way to go. So here's my update. What's up guys? The nice weather is here. My mission today is to paint chairs. Just want to show you how rough of condition that these are in. I'm going to start by painting the sides. Oh, let's paint the sides. Make sure and shake that can up good. It completely changes the look of the chairs. Okay, so I've got the chairs right here. It's the first layer of the sides painted. So here's finished product of day one. So one stack, two stacks, three stacks, four stacks, five stacks, six stacks. Waiting to cure. Well, I was reading online for uh, reviews on this stuff and a lot of people are like, oh, it doesn't work. But what I found with my first trial with it is it takes a long time to cure. Like they say seven days between coats. Seven days. Seven days? more like a month but it does harden eventually day two so we did the sides and around the chairs it's time to do the backs and the fronts of the chairs i'm gonna cut this open and i'm going to make a painting booth for the chairs so let's do this okay so my method is to spray the front of the chair the back of the chair then walk around it and uh, do all the imperfect spots the spots that i missed After doing a spray of the front and the back, you can see there's multiple problem problem areas. So there's one right there on both sides. So you gotta get that part here. So we'll get those parts. But now you see the chair's pretty good. So if you do a front, back, and then just walk around it and get all the problem spots, then you should be good. I should also mention uh, the more paint you apply, the more the hammered look you're gonna get. All right, time for some comparisons. Okay, so first we've got this chair here that uh, I painted in the previous video with uh, metal clad brown spray paint. Just scratch the paint off with your, with your fingernail there. It's no good. Uh, the second chair here is the first test experiment chair that I did with the hammered paint. It had time to cure. So I'm scratching as hard as I can. So that's, that's what happens there. Okay, so let's try one more thing here with the uh, three month cured hammered paint on one coat. So I'm going to take this and uh, scratch, scratch at it and see what comes off. So if you scratch it with that, then it comes off after one. But even if you look at the original chairs and you try to scratch them, I mean, any kind of paint really scratches off using, using this, so. And then the last one here is just uh, one of the hammered chairs that I just painted. So it hasn't had uh, the proper cure time yet. You probably want numbers. To paint 200 chairs, I had to use 40 cans of paint. So each can of spray paint was $14.67 Canadian. Convert that into American and it's $10.46 per can. I can spray five chairs out of each can. So that works out to $2.93 Canadian or $2.09 American per chair. So I've got links in the description to some of the sources that I checked out before I started this whole project. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, sub to the channel if you like my videos. You stay classy.